Kevin Grabowski joined us here on the John Mandola Show, the new Wilkes University baseball coach. And uh, Kevin, uh, what's that sound like to you? Uh, I'm sure it was a, a lengthy process in your own mind saying, uh, you know, do I want to take this step in my life? And, uh, and here we are. You, you did it. Yeah, everybody uh, was asking me, you know, why, why Wilkes? Why come back to Wilkes? And I just said, you know, why not? You know, I think it's a great opportunity to come back and to give back to, to the university and give back to, uh, you know, the city. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to getting started and, and getting the ball rolling. You get out of northeastern Pennsylvania for a good portion of your career. Um, you traveled all over playing baseball. Uh, of course, found yourself in Atlanta for a long time there. And, uh, and then uh, you kind of settled out in western PA. So talk a little bit about some of the stops along the way for you. Yeah, uh, you know, coming up with the uh, with the Seattle Mariners, uh, you know, I spent six years in the minor leagues there, and then I got traded over to Atlanta. You know, spent four and a half years uh, in Atlanta before getting traded to Texas, and then uh, I was in Texas for a uh, half a year. Um, ended up in Washington for a year, uh, then Pittsburgh for a year, and uh, finished my career up in San Francisco. Um, Ended up having shoulder surgery uh, in uh, 2009, so it kind of derailed my career there, and my comeback was was uh, stopped, you know, pretty quick uh, with the shoulder surgery. Um, then I got into coaching. You know, I really enjoyed uh, coaching. You know, I coached youth sports, coached uh, AAU travel teams, and I coached uh, in now high school for the last few years. Um, I really enjoyed coaching and coaching AAU sports uh, and travel sports, and now. Uh, the last few years I've been coaching high school so um, I also had a stint uh, for one year coaching pro ball uh, with the Washington Wild Things so you know I really enjoyed giving back to uh, to the to the kids and to the students everything that I've been taught over the years by you know some of my former coaches and, and some of my former players and teammates. Your story uh, playing at Wilkes is a, a rare story not many guys would ever get to the level that you got to. Um, talk about being able to relate to kids and say, hey, here's my story. I did it, uh, if, if that's what a kid wants to do. The bottom line is um, they're there to get an education and, and play some very competitive Division Three baseball, and who knows what could happen. Yeah, I mean, my, I think my story uh, sits, sits well with everybody. Uh, you know, I was drafted my, my, uh, my junior year by the Cincinnati Reds, um, and, you know, I turned them down. Uh, you know, I, I promised my parents that I wanted to get my degree and you know, I was new, I knew I was, you know, less than 30 credits short of graduating. So I wanted to fulfill my dream of, uh, you know, getting my degree. And you know, I tell these kids now in, in college that you know I've, I've been in your shoes. You know, I've seen it all and done it all. And, and uh, you know, it really doesn't matter at what level you play, whether it's Division One, Division Two, or Division Three, or even a junior college. Uh, you know, if you're if you're successful and you're doing well, you're going to be seen. So, uh, you know, that's my my word to, to a lot of these recruits. You know, it doesn't matter where you play. If you're putting up the numbers and you're doing well, you're going to be seen. How much time have you put into kind of looking around the Freedom Conference right now? And, and you know, it's still very early. You're just recently hired, but said, okay, these are, this is what is going on with some of these programs. And, and they're having some success over here and they're having some success down here. Uh, but you got a very successful program right in your backyard at Misericordia University. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you look at the at the the MAC, you know, Misery has been dominating for the last few years, and uh, you know, I'm just looking to try to compete with those guys. You know, it seems like they're they're the top of the top of the, the food chain there, and everybody's kind of pecking at them. And uh, you know, my goal is to to get to get up to that level. Um, and you know, it's it might not take it might take a few years to get to that level, but you know. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the competition. I'm looking forward to, you know, you know, competing against those guys and then the other schools. I know there's a there's quite a few uh, head coaching changes in, in the conference. So, uh, you know, there's I think three or four of us that are kind of getting our feet wet too in the conference. So, I think we're all going to be in the same boat, kind of chasing the same couple teams. Talking to recruits on a daily basis. Talk about what what that's like and having those conversations and. Boy, you might have 100 conversations, but you might only bring in 15 guys, and I'm sure it's hundreds of conversations, to be more accurate. But tell us a little bit what, what it's like to talk to parents or talk to recruits. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, since I started last week, uh, you know, I've been on the phone every night with recruits. Uh, you know, I try to hit four or five every night. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's the key. It's the key is to, to bring the kids into the university, you know, give them a tour of the campus, uh, 
campus has really changed since I've been there. Uh, you know, uh, Dr. Leahy has done a great job, uh, you know, building up the uh, facility and, uh, you know, the campus is looking tremendous. Um, you know, we're gonna have a lot of improvements on the athletic side uh, starting next year with the different complexes. And, uh, you know, that, that's a big, it's a big stepping stone in, in, in trying to get these, convince these kids to, to come to Wilkes is, is the athletic side and, and also the academic side, you know. You know, we talked about, you know, I'm 100% uh, academic. So, you know, we're going to school there to, to learn and to, to educate ourselves. You know, and baseball is kind of secondary. Uh, so, you know, I, I enjoy, you know, teaching these student athletes and I'm looking forward to getting started. Let's talk about uh, your vision with the program as far as work ethic, what you did uh, back in the day when you were at the program at Wilkes and, and, you know, just being able to relate to kids nowadays and what their work ethic is like. And, you know, some coaches will say, hey, you know, kids haven't changed. Other coaches will say kids have changed. So how do you feel like, again, you have a lot of coaching in your background uh, with high school kids and stuff like that. How do you feel like you're, you're going to be able to reach these 18 to 22 year olds? Well, I, I think the biggest thing uh, today uh, in today's society is, you know, uh, too many kids and too many people think they're entitled to stuff, and they, and they just they think just because they step on a college campus or they were one of the best players on their high school team, they're going to walk onto a college campus and and, and they're going to be a starter. But you know, th these kids have got to understand that they have to put the time in, not only in the on the field, but in the weight room, uh, in in the classroom, and and they got to put the extra time in in the cage and and throwing on their own. Um, so that's very important for them to, you know, get acclimated to that lifestyle. Um, I think, you know, social media and, you know, and, and the different uh, technologies today has, has made some kids lazy. And, you know, they don't want to get out and work as much and, and put the time in uh, as, as I know I did as a kid, you know, going outside and playing, you know, stickball and, and pick up baseball and pick up basketball with, with my friends uh, all the time. Um, and I just think the kids need to understand that that's where they, you know, that's where they need to get to, and uh, they got to put the time in to get to that level. Kevin, always uh, great to catch up with you. I'm sure we're going to catch up again with you in the spring. A lot to look forward to at Wilkes University. Congratulations, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a bright future with you at the helm. So uh, we wish you the very best. Thank you, John.